Hey guys, and welcome to the episode 9 of series 4 of my daily movie reviews. And yes, episode 99 overall. And we continue our Bondathon and the James, sorry, and the Roger Moore era of the series. This time by jumping into 1974 to have a look at the ninth film in the series. This is Roger Moore's second outing as James Bond. The Man with the Golden Gun. Here's a brief synopsis for you now. In London, a golden bullet with James Bond's code 007 etched into the surf into its surface is received by MI6. It is believed that it was sent by famed assassin Francisco Scaramanga, who uses a golden gun to intimidate the agent. Because of the perceived threat to the agent's life, M relieves Bond of <clears throat> of a mission revolving around the work of a scientist named Gibson, thought to be in possession of information crucial to solving the energy crisis with solar power. Bond sets out unofficially to find Scaramanga. After retrieving a spent golden bullet from a belly dancer in Beirut and tracking its m manufacturer to Mako or to Makor, however it's pronounced. Bond sees Andrea Anders, Scaramanga's mistress, collecting golden bullets at a casino. Bond follows her to Hong Kong and in her Peninsula Hotel room, pressures her to tell him about Scaramanga his appearance and his plans, she directs him to the Bottoms Up Club, the Club Alligator, a key component of a solar power station, before Bond can assert his innocence however, Lieutenant Hip escorts him away from the scene taking him to meet M and Q in a hidden headquarters in the wreck of the M at the RSM Queen Elizabeth in the harbour. Emma signs 007 to retrieve the solar alligator and assassinate Scaramanga. Well okay. There's your brief synopsis, guys. Of course, as I always say, if you've seen the film, you know the story. You might have read the Ian Fleming book. What do I think of it? I think it's brilliant. It deserves a 10 out of 10. And now, join me again tomorrow for my 100th review. And yes, it's also going to be to have a look at the 10th film in the James Bond series. And Roger Moore's third film as the said double O agent. The Spy Who Loved Me. Until then, this is Barrett, James Barrett, signing off.